Hey everyone, Matt here from Wi-Fi Ninjas. We do wireless podcasts and wireless blogs. You can find out more information from us over at wi ninjas.net. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is what you wanted us to talk to you guys about. And that was the results from the poll that we did on Twitter to find out what you wanted to see us cover more of, which was Wi-Fi tools. And the tool that I want to talk to you guys today about is the tool that I use day in, day out for the last however many years is the tool that got me excited about Wi-Fi and made me fall in love with working with Wi-Fi and that's Echohow. And what I'm going to be showing you today is the Echohow survey app on my, I use my iPhone, but usually I use my iPad, um, which does require you to have the Echohow Pro license as well as the Echohow Connect subscription, but it is totally worth it. Even if you do one survey a month, the benefit of not having to carry around a laptop like I used to have to with multiple dongles sticking out, I can now just plug an Echohow Sidekick directly into my iPhone or my iOS device and I have multiple options for surveying, um, for using like a stop and go, continuous, autopilot, and even more recently, the GPS on the iPhone. So Echohow, thank you for making my life so much easier. And before I get started with the video, I'm just going to show you my setup that I had for today when I recorded the video on my phone for you. So let me just show you what I have. Um, I've got my iPhone 10 connected to my Echo Sidekick, but the important part of this that you would need to have as well is the, I think Apple called it the Lightning to USB camera adapter, which allows me to plug in my Sidekick via USB into that adapter into my iPhone and it works like a charm. But what I usually do when I go to a customer site is I will use my uh, iPad Pro to do uh, my surveys, just because it's got a bit of a bigger screen and I this is my preferred method of survey. So let me head over to my iPhone screen where I have recorded a video of me doing multiple different types of surveys in at my apartment. So I've got my Echohow Cloud, I've got my um, project downloaded to the cloud and I'm just going to show you guys how I um, how I did my survey but you need to make sure that you've got the Echohow sidekick connected obviously to be able to do this to get this information so I click on the project file and what we can see that what I did I went from the view option to the survey option on the top but then down the bottom we have the multiple methods for doing uh, our surveys and then the final one that you just saw pop up there was the um, GPS, which is really cool from Echo that they've just integrated to the application. But the first method that I'm going to do is what's called a stop and go, where you will just click on a map, it will count down from five seconds, and you just stay in that position, and then it's recorded data just in that position. So then I move from where I first started my stop and go survey to just by my second bedroom door, click stop and go again, and it'll do that countdown. Brilliant. That's how you can just quickly do a stop and go on your iOS device, but my preferred method is continuous when I'm doing surveys. So now I moved on to the continuous mode for survey and you just click on the part of the map that you want to start on. And it's going to be continuously scanning through all of the channels and collecting that information. But what I really, really love about doing surveys on iOS devices is the pinch to zoom, how easy and quick it is to zoom in and out when you're walking around a floor plan. And not only that, how light it is compared, like to con if you compare that when I used to carry a laptop with multiple dongles, it's just mad. And yeah, so I'm just walking around my uh, my main bedroom. I'm just going to the corners back and forth, basically making sure I, uh, I get all areas of my, uh, my bedroom going either side of my bed and yeah, like I said, continuous is my preferred method for doing surveys when I'm doing surveys, but it's not the only one that, you know, you have different options for when you're in different environments that a continuous may not be uh, the best option where stop and go could be. But another new method that they added a little while ago now, which is called autopilot, or some people like to call it drunken mode survey. And I'm going to show you how I did that in my uh, main living space. So I walked down to where the uh, the bay window is and I clicked on the map and it says recording, please please set your 
please set your location. So you have to start walking and then click on the map again so it knows like where you are. And now we can see a little compass. That's the direction that I'm facing. As I'm walking around my living room, I decide to walk over to the table. I can do a little turn and then I can walk, start walking back to where I came from. And all of a sudden uh, I stop because you know, sometimes uh, you get stopped by someone on site, ask you what you're up to, what you're doing, have a quick conversation. And I walk back to where I started. And since I was doing a uh, autopilot survey, I thought the only way I can really finish this off is by doing a little moonwalk. So I start moonwalking back to the uh, kitchen area of my apartment. And it's just amazing how easy it is to use all different methods of survey with Eggerhow. And now I can have a now once I've done my survey, I can we can start to have a look at that information that I've collected. I had it selected on noise there, but the first option usually is signal strength. And you can see from when I click around from being selected on one of my missed access points, my other missed access point, or if I click off, you can see the signal strength for both of them. And if I wanted to look at the second strongest signal strength, I just choose that that drop down and I can see the second strongest signal strength. Or if I want to have a look at how much channel overlap I have or the round trip time, you can just click through and easily have a look at the visualizations on the application. But what you, I really like from uh, Echohow is the fact once you've finished doing a survey on the app, as soon as you hit back, it will start syncing straight away to the cloud. So it's ready to be downloaded by uh, someone else. If you're, work, if you're collaborating on a project with somebody else, you can just sync the, the uh, file, the survey that I've just done, it gets automatically synced back to the cloud and they can download it straight away and start reviewing it, giving you some advice if you need to go back to some areas or start troubleshooting. So Echohow is my number one go-to app for any Wi-Fi work that I do on site for any customers. I've been using it for years. I personally think it's the best out there for Wi-Fi tools. And that's my number one that I wanted to show you guys just very quickly how you can get so much information from your mobile device and this Echo Sidekick. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you guys again very soon.